everyone welcome back i'm winter and it is march 27th of 2024 thank you guys for being here so early hopefully you've had a good day so far and hopefully it's about to get just a, a little bit better today we're playing zero space with commentary thank you since we were last here late 10 24 for 92 months glad he still enjoy Jim Tim 87 for 46 Chaco Kick Cannibal Sheep Yard Kawaii uh, Get a rim as well. Okay, just still enjoy. 
today. Um, currently ranked 19th world. What? Wait, not 19th. I don't know why it says that. A 30th worldwide. A full rank above the developers of the game. I'm not sure whose account that is, but... So, resident expert. I don't know how many people are playing. But, uh... But we'll see. Gamer time. This road's too long. I can't make it on my own steam. But we'll see. But it won't be long. As there's a pretty self selecting group of players. We'll start with Protectorate. Maybe switch to Grell. Not a huge fan of Legion. Not big on the hero play style. I prefer more expendable units. <clears throat> Both really need next level animations in order to justify their existence, which is why one of the most popular current RTS, Age of Empires 2, has such next level animations that really define the next generation of RTS games. What's the donation go for you and Silver to sing? I can offer me singing and her um, perpetually and aggressively embarrassed by it. Final offer. Resubscription confirmed. Automatically relay. Thanks. I assume you have to be invited, but between Stormgate and Zero Space just have me so excited for our team's animations be down. Uh, well, you... You can get in via the backer kit thing, I think. Um, or if you're mildly e-famous. I think are the top two methods at the moment. I guess C2 pros have been invited. Enemy in range. Hmm. Can you dodge the hits? Building complete. Building complete.
Tools in hand. Unit production complete. Production is needed. My best design. Unit production complete. Production complete. Enemy sighted. We've lost control of the tower. Not enough scrap, command. Enemy in range. I'll build it. Not enough scrap to mine. Enemy sight. Enough supply. Not enough supply. Building complete. Building complete. For the protection. enemy in range. Control tower captured. Building complete. Unit production. Production is now. Building upgraded. We've lost control of the tower. Blueprint's ready. I'll get to it. Enemy cycle.
Trying later found it. Building complete. Enemy in range. Building complete. We've lost control of the tower. Control tower captured. We've lost control of the tower. Not enough supplies. I'll build it. Not enough supplies. Building Enemy in range. Building for keep. Enemy cycling. Not enough supply. For the protector. Enemy in range. Not enough supply. I'll get to it. Enemy psychic. Building upgraded. Building complete. Enemy in range. Rented. Building complete. Not enough. No. Control tower captured. Unit production complete. Production Enemy side now. They're on to me! We've lost control of the tower. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Enemy Building upgraded. Enemy psychic, just say. We've lost control of the tower. Our units are under attack. 
Building upgraded. Building complete. Building complete. Building complete. Unit production. Please complete. hand me the drill. Production is now on. Control idle. tower captured. Psychic. Building Reinforcement complete. ready. My best designs. Tools in hand. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Building complete. Building complete. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Not enough flux. Enemy in range. Just say where. Building up.
Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Not enough. Building complete. Our units are under attack. And when does Winter cosplay? Yes, I remember when the uh, Americans were able to break through in the Battle of the Bulge with their targeted particle beam laser tanks, which was a major technological coup. Hell yeah, brother. Maybe a bit loud. We're actually focusing today. Building complete. I'm trying to get, so I'm trying to hit control, but the control key is not. Like I switched the hot key from N to Z, but I'm trying to, like control Z doesn't work for undo. Maybe it's overlapping. Find more procedure. If I just hit Z again, does it unsiege? No. Yeah, it doesn't. Hmm. The modifier doesn't work. Let's see if I switch it back to N. I keep having to click it, which is not ideal. <laughs> What if I switch it to the other hotkey for the Time Warper, which is uh, B? Will that work? No. For some reason, only control. I think that's bug report or the right? As. I th the hotkey's kind of baked in, it feels. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to unseed it without clicking. So it's actually kind of insane, the time warper. The, uh, the time warp slows attack and movement speed of units in an area by 50%. Permanently. It is a mercenary faction, so both sides can have it, but... That is, uh...
kind of a ridiculous, like literally one unit can cut their army effectiveness in more than half. Because movement, like for the, especially for the Grell, movement and attack speed. So since so many of the units are melee or near melee, reducing attack speed and movement is more than 50% DPS loss. How many factions? Currently, there are three main factions and six mercenary factions? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, no. Six? Ah, uh, there's um, the crabs, the chakru, the bulby boys, the volkaru, the dread raiders, uh, the Marins, the Arandi. So there's at least five. Why am I missing anyone? At least five. So the mercenary factions, you can pick with any faction. Uh, and you can build them on a charge system, very similar to the SA2 campaign. They still cost money, um, and they have unique benefits to each one. So even if you're playing, like, Protectorate versus Protectorate, it's, it's kind of unlikely to be a mirror matchup. At least the intent is that the mercenary factions are... At least several of them are worth picking. So that way, it doesn't end up being a full mirror matchup. I would imagine in a tournament setting... Like, imagine an SC2, but with an actual pick ban. And I know, I'm not a big fan of, like, pick ban as a mechanic, but... Not for faction, but instead for mercenary faction. Where, like, uh, maybe somebody gets first pick, but the other one can counter pick with a different faction. <clears throat> there are some that are more specifically designed or or have like better single target they also have like um bonus effects i guess like the arandi do research way faster uh is is one of their benefits they also that first tier talent with a free harvester i like picking The mercenary factions all have, um, they provide the third talent in the tree. And they have some kind of like, uh, side grades with that. Not all of them, I think, are worth picking the first go round. Um, depends, obviously. But I've been liking the free harvester, which is you save 150 hexite. And the time. Which early on is a big deal. And the Protectorate's uh, talents are not... Hell, like, the Tier 1 talents don't feel that time. high impact to me. W Especially R since Recall got it. nerfed. Like, really hard. <laughs> it was really dumb before, though. You could literally... Like, the ideal play was to teleport every unit out as it was taking damage. <laughs> Which was too much. It was way too much. But now it's, um... Possibly too little. Let's see. Yeah, the protector at beam up, and then vehicle engines. I usually take vehicle engines on the, uh, second... So when you get past level 5, the next... It just rolls around again. If you get to level 10, you pretty much have most of the talents. Um, but it makes more sense, I think, at like level 6 when you're heavier on the uh, vehicles. I may consider... I don't know how this scales with veterancy. I think tier 3, the elite infantry... Well, maybe I need to stop taking that. Because by the time we get to tier 3, I'm rarely moving my units that much anyways. <laughs> oh, it also affects mercenary infantry, but I don't know if that counts. Um, 
I don't know all of what that counts for, though. Legion. I'll get to it. Harvester. Control tower captured. Please hand me the I like getting the tech lab first. Not sure if that's the literal name. No, fuck. So close. I have the range. I can use it. Stand still for me. We're still in range there. I like taking the range. The shredding bolt seems good, but the range allows you to just keep kiting. You know what? Let's cancel in order to get the CC faster. That's a bait right there. Harvester. Let's see if I can snipe a harvester. Not enough scrap. Come on. Maybe get a building. Enemy psychic. Teleport out. Gonna send a harvester Building to the complete. rich flux. Enemy in range. Building complete. The so stay, stay. They'll automatically go. Most of the time, it's good for them to automatically go to uh, other stuff, but. I'd rather uh, they didn't at the moment. Building complete. We've lost control of the tower. We're gonna work on some bastions, I think. Building 
Gonna get more upgrades. Infantry walker. Sure. Yeah, the damage I think is worth. We're gonna get Bastion. Yeah, I like the armor because I use it as a tank. Speaking of tanks. in mines we gotta be very careful of his first mercenary pick clear out those this would be a good time I think to get um, can I physically block the base like that? Ah, I thought so. I lose a bunch of commandos to mines, of course. Building upgraded. Just say hmm. I'm gonna go with the reinforcements this time. Enemy in range. And attack speed. And flash damage and slows. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Did we get the uh Yeah, that should be disruptor tech. Thank you. Building complete. Terror tank, okay. Just let it go here. Getting some Avengers. The tank. So they're cheap. They look scary, but they don't do that much damage. They're mostly just HP. To put in front of everything. Lose my hero. What more terror tanks in front? The disruptors. I have the eco. And he didn't actually. So the disruptors have the slow. Just need to lock. Ah! Unit production Go to the rich flex, please. Unit production I lost my hero, but at this stage, the hero is not that important. Get to it. My best Sorry. Control tower captured. She'll come back. She's there for the ability cast, I'll say. Actually, let's throw some of these up there. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Hmm. Mercenary reinforcements. I like the power gain from lost units and structures one. Gonna get one more production facility. 
Maybe one for the tanks. We're mining out of the main now, so... That'd be another base is worth. The first three bases get 100% income. And then anything past that mining is 50%. But once the main base mines out... Um... Then... All right, well. Mm, we got a bunch of the, uh... I need a warper. I find that's the best way to control the shades. Which are... Essentially super zerglings. Yeah, the, so even though they look similar, the Disruptors and the Avengers are way different. The Avengers are tank tanks, and the Disruptors are Void Race. They charge up and do more damage over time. The hero does not get... The hero only levels up in stats with your faction levels. There are no items or anything, just to be clear on that. So she gets more HP and some more damage, but not like... Ultimate abilities or stuff. Like, I think she starts at like 8, like 16 DPS and now has 24 at level 5. No, wait a second. Come back, come back, stop attacking. I can't hear myself think. Building complete. That's the number no one thing I never wanted to be in my life. Alright, my friend. It's important to have opinions, but aren't you the one who didn't know camera locations existed in SC2 and were like a staple of all even medium to high level players for the last 10 years? Unit production complete. Production is now idle. So... Yeah, the Avenger absorbing 38% damage, doing its job. Never pretended to be a pro. Yeah. I don't mind heroes. I just don't like heroes where you feel like... Like, I like that I can lose my hero. You can lose your hero here, get her abilities off, and, like, she's gone, but she'll come back in a minute. 
it's not like Dota where you lose your hero and you rage at your teammates for 90 seconds. Um, that is a distinct difference. But here, the hero is essentially like a mothership kind of unit where, well, you helped and now you're dead. In the early game, very important as it's essentially your only unit. But later on, sometimes she dies and I don't even notice. Do you play on a huge monitor? No, I actually look at my other monitors to see dumb comments in chat. Um, and multiple chats, because I can multitask. Other huge things, though. I don't think, I think this number is still going up from the last, uh, um, alpha, beta? No, alpha. I think Zero Space handles the heroes well. I'm not sure about the control towers yet. Like, it's an uh, adjustment mechanic. It does feel very snowball-y, but at, the, at some point, do you want, like, one fight to necessarily flip the game? Like, for example, in SC2... If you have, let's say, let's appeal to what most people can understand, which is your opponent is Sky Toss. They've sat at their base on three, four bases. They've got a bunch of carriers and Templar. And you have been maxed out with most of the map. But then they win a fight and you get rolled. And uh, I don't think a lot of people find that super satisfying in SC2. But here, because I control the towers, means I have access to more tech, which makes my units to an extent better and potentially gives access to abilities that reward me from for controlling the map. Now, the balance between how much it becomes like an insurmountable advantage and how much it rewards you for like keeping a lead is obviously in flux. But um, quite literally, so. Preset control groups, you can edit. Yeah, they already have auto control groups, but just, um, kind of the ham-fisted version. Yes, I want the bar version. I am reasonably sure the drag formation, which you see me using constantly, is inspired by bar. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they've been, um, at least looking and playing it to some extent, so... If they so pretty much just take all of the quality of life features from bar, from the team pings and stuff and, and stuff like that, to drag formations, to auto control groups that actually stay between games if you choose to. Um, yeah, just copy beyond all reason. All right. What are they going to do? Sue you? They can't even legally take donations because it's technically just like a volunteer project. Which is, you know, tells you the, the passion levels, like... <laughs> the thing about Bar, though, is at the end of the day, it's not a uh, tactics RTS nearly as much as... It's not real-time tactics so much as SC2. Like, SC2 is less of a strategy game and more of a real-time game. Bar is also a real-time game, but there's much more strategeries to it. Um, partially just because it takes so damn long to get anywhere with most things, but uh, with some notable exceptions. But uh, I d like the quality of life. I see no reason you shouldn't add more functionality. I don't like. I don't subscribe to the idea. If you're going to make a clone to StarCraft 2, and this isn't a clone, but it's certainly at least close cousins, you're not going to be attracting the under 18 on your phone demographic. So you might as well take the things that SC2 does well and take the things that other games do well that SC2 doesn't do, put them together, boom. Now you got a stew going. Transition remake. Oh, I can't promise a fairy tale 
Nobody wants that demographic? Yeah, the only people who want that demographic are people who like money. Otherwise, mm. Do you like the grill? I do. I prefer the protectorate right now. I ju it's just more intuitive. Um, Grell is, uh, it still has some visibility issues, in my opinion. It does remind me a lot of Zerg. Um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's the, it's the high APM faction. Hello? AI? Uh, hello? The AI decided to queue against me. You know, that'd be an interesting one. Like, you've waited two minutes here. Play a game against the AI. If you beat it, you get one one MMR. Am I gonna? The most successful game in the world be the one that sees your bad at the game and auto refunds it. Yes, you know all those incredibly popular games that when when you're bad at them, you no longer get to play. That comment was sarcastic. I was mocking the other chatter's comment. Mm. Me too. I think I broke it. Building complete. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, we gotta alt for this one. That was an odd one. I think what happened is whoever I was matched against, like, quit the game as it was loading, and it broke the lobby. It seems like that's what happened. Is this the game Scarlet works slash works on? Scarlet is the balance designer. From what I understand, and I have no reason to... She is the one doing the balance patch. There was a balance patch like two days ago. For the alpha. There's been balance patch... Oh wait, there's a new patch today, but it was uh, uh, mostly like bug fixes and pathfinding improvements. But... Scarlet, not passively, but actively. So you can literally complain to the leader of the Grell Cabal. Scarlet. If you don't like the balance. So I will be complaining to Scarlet about the mines. Not because I think the mines are overpowered. I think they're dumb. And I stand by that. Mines in every game I play... I think Bar does mines pretty well, actually. I like with a fair trade-off. But <laughs> cuz they feel like actual mines and there's ways to deal <laughs> like they slow you down, but they uh, like there's an opportunity cost to them as opposed to just like, "Hey, have some mines." Wait, are there three towers on this map? That always been true. We're gonna go down this. Yeah, yeah, it's always been. I'm dumb. What is that? Who that? Does the black hole ability do damage? No. This is rude. Ah. Alright, we'll just go to the other ones. I'll get to it. Mm. 
So you get a bit of Hexide for killing the creeps, which is something. Not as good as, obviously, the tower, but... You can queue up buildings, and then once you have the money, they will build. Instead of having to have it the exact amount at the right time. Which is quite nice. So I can just queue up my build. And focus on the fighting. So you have to be careful what order you queue things up, because then you'll end up potentially overriding unit production if you're not careful. What is this about? Pretty sus. Cloak. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Control tower captured. Pretty sus he was sending a worker out though. Don't know what that's about. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Enemy in range. Upgrade complete. Hmm, he's got the Marin tanks. I'm not risking it. Those are tough to deal with. Production is now idle. They essentially melt me. I'll build it. Guess we're gonna try the shades here. He's got all three. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Right, he has like shields or something. Jeez. I don't think those tanks hit up. Gonna get some of the air. I assume the sniper does. Oh my. Avenger 
Reduction is not vital. We've lost control of the tower. Enemy in range. They're on to me. He has an atlas. It's a pretty sick counter. I haven't seen that. I get off. Building up. Oh, they do hit up. What? Those shields. to hide the shades. I don't know if he noticed them, but... The shades do huge deeps. It's bad, though. I have no idea how many bases he has. He has all the towers. I can't keep my harvesters alive. Let's uh, just do additional shades. Enemy in range. He has disruptors now too. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building complete. Building complete. My best control tower captured. Not enough flux. Enemy sighted. Enemy in range. Fucking hell. <laughs> We've lost control of the tower. Unit production. Production is now idle. Enemy sighted. Oh, I should have gone for the time warper here. I need to select everything but harvester's key. Because when I do this, I also select the harvester. I want not that.
Wait. I wanted to look at the score screen. I haven't seen... I don't know who that guy is. I have to assume it's question marks. Because uh, I don't see any Korean or Chinese letters. On the, um... I get completely crushed there. The combination sniper plus <clears throat> the uh, Marin mercenaries. Nothing. I had nothing. Completely lost. need to look at okay back to the stat screen i do hope at some point there i don't think there needs to be an in-game one as long as there's a solid like out of game resource path of exile is a good example of that um i also wanted to see what his name was so i could see who it was ideally and potentially ask because i have yet there's a few times I've been so thoroughly outplayed, but rarely throughout the entire... Usually it's just like there's some early game. I'm like, well, like I didn't... But that was the full package there. So those were the Marin tanks. Grants a shield. Is it the same unit? <clears throat> and then... Um, wait, what hero was it? Ah, hell. Marin hero. DPS 20, damage 40. Damage increases by 4. Slightly more complicated, actually. I don't know what that means. 1700 versus the Arandi, which is Triarch, whatever, who has 150, 150, but less DPS and less range. So, now what's the speed? So the difference is, I don't know how much the ability does, but... That cover for a secret lab chair, it's whatever chair wants to sponsor me. In this case, Carbot, which sponsors good content. it is because you have separate mmr perfection but i'm not sure exactly how it works but i think my grell mmr is lower because i played less games but it's the same guy all right i'm gonna get dunked down again I'm not sure how. I don't think Grell Hero is going to uh, work very well against it. Wait, where's my base? Where's my ramp? I'm so blind. Ah, this...
We gotta at least contest. So this map only has two. Um, control points, so. Important to note. Which is a distinct difference. Okay, I managed to take one. I'm just gonna try to avoid. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> well, not ideal. Let's see if I can get one more harvester out there early. Yeah, there aren't too many spots like that, but that, I mean, alpha, right? We're gonna play Ring Around the Watchtowers. It looks like. This time I'll challenge. So will he? Why do you have a worker over here? That's the question. Is that a scout? We're gonna get. Oh, he's got the turret, which is quite tanky, actually. Production is now idle. Hmm. No, nope, we're still taking the free harvester. Enemy psychic. Ah, oh, shit, the turret's so good. Enemy in range. These mistakes have no one else to blame. Where are you guys going? What? That doesn't do damage. What are you doing? He's all over the flux. I feel like this is something I'm missing dramatically. Is the focus on the flux. Alright, there's no downside if you can hold it. 
obviously quite an if, but... infusion let's infuse these big boys we also have a thresher here i like infusing the big boys don't don't comment i don't want to hear it He got the full splash damage. So many bastions. Did you just kill the rest of this stuff? Okay. The fucking range. We need the warper desperately. Let's see what happens if we infuse a time warper. What do I what do you mean I have no hotkey? Doesn't make any sense. Does it make the radius? I'm gonna have to click it every time. 
Um... Alright. That seemed like a bad fight for him, but I did lose a lot of my nourishing pods. He probably has the economy to just keep this up. I'll see. He's just outlasting me here. I don't have the supply. I don't know if the rupture is worth. Oh, come on. What a waste of the time warper. We're just sticking with the horn mechs, I think. I was able to block there. base is mined out though I, I keep building I don't think harvesters cost money to rebuild right but can't get out of my base building up so desperate <sighs> now we need to get this guy out of here stop fucking move what the Why are you like this? The pathfinding is, uh, struggling with the size of these units. The sheer mass. I think I lost my hero to just some random bastions. Stop. I wonder if there's a way to stop harvesters from running in and getting themselves killed. Oh, your dedication will be rewarded. Neat looking game. Unit production complete. Production is now complete. Like. Ah, eh, we'll leave it there for this one.
We need more flux. Well, that's a lot of shit. This guy is not burrowed for some reason. a lot of shit, doesn't it? He keeps leaving the game immediately and I can't see the score screen. I'm getting dunked on. Really struggling to figure out an answer. Energy units are supposed to be infused, used for comebacks. All right. I was thinking of not using my energy, but with that tip, I'm gonna try it. So, full mirror matchup. At this point, I'm kind of of the maybe don't even bother with control groups camp. Which feels counterintuitive, but it's too limiting. I think we're gonna get the uh, incubators first. Uh, I fucked up. I missed so many crepes. She does like no damage to the actual. Try to aggressively take. The flux. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Not that much. I think I got the hit off. We'll kill each other. Maybe. Which is, uh, good, I guess. Like... Well, that's not good. Certainly. more harvester and go straight for it
Enemy in range. Learn. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Poison! Interesting. Building up rated. Building upgraded. Enemy in range. Building upgraded. Why are you still attacking like Building there's something going on? Mm -hmm. 
on the build, I like the bow on the Jeff Box. Skinny jeans, small tees, Jordans, and thrift socks. The chicks rock, yoga pants, sweaters, and spot scarves. And congregated clubs, coffee shops, and the dog parks. It all starts late, people wait at the gig, the gate. But if we ain't equal, security ain't yeah. people. The straight shoes with three stacks and outcasts. The wood cloud pass, the rest folk outcast. Building up, Young ballers, spin it, spin it, rock, dip in the box. So when they pop, the box, put the tip in the box. I'll let the brown and dip, just run this within the box. I'll put the gel in my mind up, dip, I take that soap. In the mind, in my love, all shit, watch it like, bro, it's ladies, nice. This may be mama or maybe wife, looking for love in this crazy life. I don't know what's going on with these. I don't know how to cancel them. Reliably, at least. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Stop. Subscriber detected. The incursion knows. Thank you. They're on to me. Building upgraded. Keep up the good games for the fans. Less I just don't enjoy. Oh. Enemy sight.
Building updated. Thank you and curses for the raid, by the way. Hopefully you had a good stream. People keep leaving before I can get to the score screen. Thank you, Aviza. Romero Lager. I'm not, I haven't settled on a way to handle all the units. Like, I don't want to use select all army. Control groups feel too slow. I keep trying to do select next harvester, but it ends up selecting all my harvesters, which I don't think is right. Select all units of the same type. Do I already have anything on control Q? I do not. I'm not sure why the Arandi hotkeys got fucked up. Like, uh, we'll see if that helps, maybe. What is the disruptor ball? You mean the flying one, the time warper? Um, the disruptor is a protectorate unit with a beam like a void ray, but the time warper casts a, uh, time warp field that is channeled while the time warper is like staring at it that reduces movement and attack speed by 50 percent um which is huge the hero ability uh so the triarch has a big glowy orb ball boomerang that does damage, and then there's a black hole ability, which just essentially sucks people in for, uh, I believe it's like half a second. The idea is to kind of combine it with AoE abilities. But it was nerfed from one second, I think, because it was a little too good at its job. Like, <laughs> uh, and I would agree with that. It's essentially just a pin down. Uh, for a moment. Protector at Marin seems to be a uh, a trend. I think the Marin tanks are actually like Arandi seems very good, but Marin has a lot of uh, a lot of options. I feel like I shouldn't even challenge mid. I'm not gonna win a straight up fight. Mmm, this is pretty sus. Are there no creeps here? Ah, uh, this is what we're doing. Alright. Ah, uh, this.
Does that actually challenge? He's building the turret on it. Ah, uh, and he's got the everything up there. This is essentially a turret rush. Which is, uh, you know, interesting. I did manage to take the camp for a moment, but... Close, but close is not good enough. Because he wins the straight up fight. Ooh. Apparently you can dodge it. Unit production complete. Production Unit production is complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. But she said trust production me. is now idle. Stop, stay. Down. Building upgraded. Building up Building upgraded. Driving for a thousand miles is nowhere else I want to be. Be with you. Driving with you. Let me take it back to you. Driving with you. No, not that one. I already got the other one though. I don't know why it's... okay. 
Anyways. What happened to this? Hmm. I don't know how to deselect just the harvester off of the control group. doesn't look right. Just kind of hung there for a sec. Is something fucky? Right. It froze right as he jumped. Which is not the ideal time. Yeah. Yeah. Not great. Just the body blocking. All right. Well, I didn't love that. I can't. I can't even look at the score screen because I'm not host of game. Not in love with the moment I need to control my units, them stopping responding. But that is, of course, not that surprising as that is the most intense moment.
Yeah, they just didn't really do anything for like three seconds. Also, I really need to be able to deselect harvesters, or at least not have them. To not have them, uh. What am I using my brain for? Um. Selected with box select. Would be very helpful. Because it's incredibly difficult to actually deselect a single unit. And that was a good start, that game. Control click harvester. It doesn't, like, you have to, like, deselect it. You box and then you deselect from there. It is a, not a intuitive process. At least coming from SC2. Maybe I'm just... I'm not bothering to challenge it. I'm gonna assume he goes for the uh, turrets in the center. Let's see. I don't have the uh, orb yet. Almost. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Stop, Harvester, please, I beg you. Stop running toward your death. I want you to live. I'm not confident we share the same goals. Building upgraded.
I'm wounded. Oops. Well, saw that one coming. Where the hell are you going? Uh. Enemy psychic. Enemy in range. Building up, Rachel. need to try to break the center before it becomes too much. Building up, Rated. Building up there. Is there a way to aim at ground with these things? Like ah. Unit production complete. Production. Unit production complete. Production is not idle.
Building upgraded. Unit production completed. Production is now idle. Enemy in range. Building up, thank you.
feet. You Production is gonna complete. fly away. But we're gonna make it through the Building upgraded. Our spawn is in danger. Building upgraded. Enemy psychic. Looking for Enemy in range. Lost in the music. Ah, your dedication will be rewarded. Thirty months still in job. Building upgraded. The shock troops are really good versus commandos. <laughs> I'm starting to think I need to be building more buildings on the control towers. Yeah, and the problem with the growl is the large units are tri like, I had a lot more success with infusing the air units because they didn't trip over each other.
it feels I don't know I'm not ta I'm not getting the mileage out of grill also controlling the harvesters is well early on important but then I just have I just can't expand There's no such thing. I wonder if there's a way to turn off auto mining for harvesters. Because they keep, like, it's good. They go to find um, resources. But it's not good when those resources are on the other side of the enemy army. You just have to hold position. The problem is that... If you lose them once, and then they rebuild, and they show up a minute later when you're not paying attention, and then they die again. <laughs> hmm. Just destroy the enemy base and mine those minerals? I'm trying. But the enemy's base is in the middle of the map. I'm thinking of options to deal with just like the tower rushes. Which, also, what is this tank? I don't know if this this thing is in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'd think they would go a different art style than the people they're ripping off. Yeah, I agree. Helldivers 2 um, should watch out for Blizzard. Um, because the Zerg, let's be honest here. Yeah, StarCraft invented space marines. That's a, that's a science fact right there, as you know. I'm debating. I'm getting some good games in, but also it's pretty frustrating. At the moment. Also, it's a pretty self-selecting group of people playing. Need some noobs to destroy. Starship Troopers? Uh, you mean StarCraft Troopers? War Warhammer 40k? They, I mean, if they made 40,000 Warhammers, that, that they're ripping off each other at that point. How It's impossible to keep track. Movies and minute. You guys believe in space? Classic. So, here's the issue, by the way. Now, I want to complain about SC2 for a moment. So, the intern patched the game and broke all the replays from the last patch. Just the last patch. So, I can only log in to the Korean server of SC2 right now. Why? Because that one, for some reason, has not been updated to the new patch. So, I could still, like the Gumiho vs. Dark series... So I have to, but if I, it breaks my game to go to the other versions. So I am still on the old Korean version, which doesn't, isn't even like the actual version. Uh, because, and I'm intentionally not letting it update. So I can hopefully access those replays because I seriously doubt the intern is going to fix it. So, um, so what I'm trying to say 
Yeah, it didn't even break. Like, it's just the specific version of the game. There's some sort of compatibility backlog they have to update with each version, which is why you're able to look at old replays, but uh, which is hard to do on your phone on your lunch break, so... But yeah, maintaining games is harder than it sounds, which requires some maintaining, right? So what I'm trying to say is I'm excited for games that have a development team. I think Zero Space does a lot of uh, unique things. I do hope that, because right now, it does feel way more punishing than StarCraft. Like, even... Even at, like, the Masters Plus level, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does feel like in two or three minutes, you can already be at a near insurmountable or at least a very painful position, which, I mean, if you're targeting, like, 10, 15-minute games, I think that that's probably fine. Oh, your dedication but, will be rewarded. Yo. Yeah, at the moment, and I think Stormgate has this issue as well, which is if you're trying to make it more casual-friendly creating a game where you have to be actively fighting from the 22nd mark and potentially losing a significant um, advantage by the one minute mark um is not necessarily the way to do it like uh stormgate has the issue with literally starting out with like a zergling in this form of a scout <laughs> uh that just pokes at your work and you don't you don't you can't deny any scouting I'm not sure how I feel about the heroes spawning so early. Like, I would be in favor of testing out, like, the control towers unlocking at, like, two minutes or something like that. Now, that would give you a little more leeway to kind of adjust the economy in the early game. Um, instead of, like, the control towers being accessible from the very start. But... Uh, at the same time, that does create, like, kind of a, a warm-up period of the game. Which is not necessarily- that's what I skip over when I'm casting StarCraft. I skip to the three-minute mark when people are actually fighting. So... <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Yeah. Control, control towers give you XP. You get a baseline amount of XP, and then each control tower gives you significantly more. I'm not... Let me check the spreadsheet here. Um, XP. You generate passive XP. I'm not sure what the number is, but the control towers each give you significantly more. So having three towers gives you at least, like, three times the rate of someone who has no towers. Which allows you to unlock those talents quicker. The talents which can maybe give like 15% damage or functionality or stuff like that. But only core... Blizz RTS fans seem to be obsessed with the 10 to 15 minute game time as a mobile player. Most people I know are more than comfortable with inside staying inside a game for 30 minutes if it's fun. What MOBA are you playing where people are staying inside a game for 30 minutes and it's fun? You're like in one of the 16 Dota games and only when I play with my friends. It's a lot of fun. Otherwise, I hate humanity. Oh, you play 30 plus minute Heroes of the Storm games? What are the What does the player controlling the other five heroes do? <laughs> heroes of the Storm is like 10 to 20 minutes. It is specifically the most fun MOBA and also the shortest. There's a very rare, like, 30 plus minute match, but Heroes of the Storm is almost always over. Pro Dota games go over, go above 30 minutes. You mean Dota, the game that Grubby just quit playing because people are horrible? That one? Which I learned in within like three months of playing Dota and I stopped some years ago. <laughs> Like, <laughs> uh, the, the only problem with playing Dota are the Dota players. 
community sucks, but a lot of people play it, which is what RTS devs want. Do they Music play it because of the game time? Why can't RTs be like they used to, where Supreme Commander would slow your game down to save the graphics and you were in a mission for three plus hours? Well, that's times. because you're playing on Windows 98 with a thousand units. I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, that last game was quite frustrating with the pathfinding and stuff. Like, I got outplayed for sure, but I'm debating, because this is the time to debate. Like, is it Imba or do I suck? It can be both. And and there's a big difference. I think it's easily conflated. Imbalanced with poorly designed. Like, for example, the Widow Mine. The Widow Mine is not imbalanced. Um, in the sense that, like, I think it gives Terran a distinct advantage and uh, makes them win everything. But is it good design? No. <laughs> Uh, because of the asymmetry of it. And why is it not good design? Because there is so much more on the, like, the investment. The risk-reward ratio is way, way fucking off. All right? Um, the risk is minimal. The reward is potentially game-winning. Like right, that is... And the counterplay is is between tedious and non-existent. Like, for example, the battle cruiser, on the other hand, is... The risk reward uh, is significant risk, but very significant reward. It's expensive, but it it's also has some clear counterplay. But if you're unprepared, you can just lose the game. So. Hots is barely a MOBA. Are we gatekeeping MOBAs now? Hots is the most MOBA of them all. Like, the rest are spreadsheet simulators about which item you need to strap onto your pinky finger in order to bitch slap the creeps at the right time. Like, come on. That's not battle. That's, like, mechanical... Uh, <laughs> essentially something that could be better done by an AI. Um, which, as opposed to HOTS, which is uh, a lot more about team fights and actually, you know, battling enemy players. But StarCraft 2 is just a spreadsheet about which unit beats which units. Yeah, that's what my the YouTube shorts that are completely and entirely unrealistic um, comments tell me. Did you know that 200 Zerglings can't even beat a planetary with its building upgrades? It's crazy. I mean, it's close, but... <laughs> and you know what I don't care about? Is what fucking label you put on it. <laughs> All right. Is it a MOBA? Is it an RTS? All MOBAs are also RTS. And if you do want to debate that label, I don't... Okay, they're not an RTS. I don't care. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, mathematic depth doesn't add meaningful depth to a game. Well, it can... What? I, what, what let's get back. We're, we're bearing the lead here a bit. Which is... I'm gonna I'm gonna play against the passive AI just to have something on in the background instead of just a banning. Is the control towers. The control towers. So I don't think at this stage the uh the talents are so game breaking that like being behind on them is necessarily a game losing issue. So um, but it does kind of limit how, how crazy the talents can be. The only, the only big talent is, is your ultimate, effectively. Mm. later foundations. It's 350 for this, yeah. Building complete. I think the way the talents and, like, the leveling up is done is much cooler. So it's it's kind of the equivalent of like getting upgrades in SC2. But instead of just, you know, spending X resources to get Y upgrade, you have to fight on the map. Now, all I'm debating is like when that fight should start and what should be the effects, especially in the early game. Like how much should taking the tower this early matter? 
I don't know what the passive XP rate is, but taking a tower is... I'll get We're going to find out. Control tower captured. It's 4.5 XP a second. Now, I don't know what the number of XP to level up is. I'm pretty sure each level is the same amount as well. Like, it doesn't... It's not like a RPG. Building complete. Why are there no creeps here? Hmm. Hey! This is supposed to be the passive AI. The relaxed AI. I do like the sword animation. But also I think she does. She does 46 DPS. Which is well over double what the, the Triarch does. Of course that is melee. Building Wait, what? Is that? Control tower captured. Why was she doing more DPS before? Unit production complete. Production is hmm. now idle. It was with the stacks, like the dash stacks. Which is a bit unintuitive. I think she's very cool, but... Yeah, and the thing is, I think it's an attempt to make her scale. Because melee heroes are always going to be, you know, a bit difficult to actually make useful in the later game because they just kind of die. Oh, she gets attack speed as she attacks. Ah. Oh. I'm dumb. I would have to learn how to read. What is this shit? Excuse me, relaxed AI. I'm not looking so relaxed right now. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that the baseline rate is 4.5 XP a second. Which comes out to about 250 a minute. So each tower gives you like 100% more. Building complete. What is this? I... Unit production complete. So, production is now idle. I am trying to work this out. Right now, I have, um, select next harvester, but that selects all harvesters. Not the next harvester, and I don't always want all my harvesters to... Oh, just, how about control A? Oh, so like all of them. How about... Alright. Numpad zero. I think I bound that to a different button at some point. No, none of them are idle, because they all Production automatically mine. They have control, so it's like... Ah! Hmm. That's not ideal. I need to switch the open tech tree button as well. I keep accidentally hitting the- wait, why do I even have caps lock as a key here? Numpad zero. And we're not- there's no such thing. Idle harvesters are not real. They can't hurt you. How about a caps lock? Wait, what is this? Cycle main buildings. No. I already have down a mouse button. 
Building complete. Better. All right. Who's shooting? Where is patrol? Oh, I could search. What am I doing? Numpad one, yeah. Which I don't have it on quick. I had to turn off the quick cast attack move and patrol because um, I was killing my own units way too much. It's a bit problematic. So I have this on a mouse button, which is why I even consider it. But that mouse button doesn't seem to be registering. Now we gotta go back to G hubs. Maybe if I just remove it, but. More like GG hubs. Oh. If you don't quick cast. Ready. Ah, that doesn't work without having quick cast on. Ah, I see. That's the problem, because otherwise you have to click at the end of it. Okay, I, I would like to request quick cast on patrol, but not attack move. Just split them. Because the quick cast attack move gets me killed. Quick cast patrol is not going to hurt anybody. At least hopefully. I think you have to be out of game to uh, activate that one. Which is a bit odd. Yeah. Yeah. Attack move stutter stepping will suffer. Well done, just enable both. I gotta. If you like. So the hardest part of Grell is making the seedlings useful. And by that I mean, let's see, select builders, control B is what I've been using, but what is it? F1 doesn't have a conflict. So, the Grell seedlings are very drone esque. So now we have this. It's just so weird to get used to quick casting attack move. Like, it, it's feels it feels wrong oh no I whipped it it really does like I'm so used to clicking you can see the attack moves coming out
You can't ship queue patrol? Alright, wish list. Yeah, you can't set up a ship queue into patrol. You have to patrol from your current location, which is obviously not ideal. All right. New key. It's going to be the thumb key we're using for builders. So that way I don't have to be... I don't know. It feels better. Just need to keep resetting the uh, camera locations at the edge of the grass. I need to just stop using... You know what? New... I'm gonna remove the tab key. It's inefficient. We're gonna completely shift it. We'll now be... So now we have select all production buildings on tab and then research buildings on control X. Fine. Because too many times do I just like... I do like how it goes back to current selection, but I think the research being part of it does screw it up a lot. You can rebind to, like, they'll be on five. I think heavy on tab is fine. But it was just, like, the research also being there is the problem. What did I put my harvesters on? I forget. Oh, uh, caps lock, caps lock, caps lock. How many tabs? There are three. It rotates between uh, research, production, and your previous selection, which is kind of nice, but it's, that's one too many, it feels like, a lot of the time. Maybe it's better once you get used to it. Obviously. So, I'd like it when I select the builders. Like, I'm hitting the select builder key. It tells me how many builders I'm selecting. So that way I don't end up queuing a bunch of things that I can't build. Building upgraded. There's no reason I have a camera location on my main, because, like, it isn't, like, I don't need to inject it. It's just reflex. Not even a good reflex.
Enemy in range. Um. Hello? Enemy oh sighted. no. The worker got stuck on the hex site. That's not ideal. Let's try some harbingers. A build time of you, like production facilities are quite important. Enemy in range. And then there's the weaver. Wait, does it have healing? I'm not, I'm only using 10% of the grill. All right, new strat. We're gonna try to max out on late game growl as quick as possible. I don't know, like I, I haven't really tried. This is usually how when actually putting any effort into SC2. Start out just warm up game, max out as quick as possible with like a real unit composition. So weird. Enemy psychic. We're gonna go scrap uh we got grells squirrels um reaver couple time warps and then the horn mech I forgot to build a harvester. I don't think it's super critical early, but. It certainly helps. I think part of the benefit of getting an early expo is having more um, workers. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Where the fuck are you going, bro? Oh, God damn it. The harvester is trying Unit so production. to be so diligent about mining. I forgot to hold position it next to the uh, rich flux. Hey, 
infusion ready. Building upgraded. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building upgraded. Also, having the same rally point for workers and for harvesters is uh, not necessarily ideal. I have no workers. Ruin. Unit production complete. Production is not made. Building upgraded. Right, the cliff jumping seems good. Uh, we'll give it a shot. See what it looks like at least. And Harpenter is another tank. Building upgraded. Upgrade complete. A new subscriber has been Thank you. Enemy psychic. I just don't enjoy. Our powers, spiderlings, essence collector, enemy in range. When the sound unit production complete, production is now under. Building upgraded. Building upgraded. Uh. 
Mm, he's about to bind out. Before 10 minutes. I thought it was like 10 minutes. Building upgraded. Way too many turrets, I think. Building upgraded. the cliff jumping not necessarily a good idea My, there goes my hero. A hundred percent damage and heal from sacrifice. I don't know if those are both from sacrifice. We're gonna try the weapon range. A lot of T posing. What did I build all these? Why do I have so many weavers? In production. Well, they do take a lot more flux than they do. Hexite, mm -mm. which is actually a good thing here. Doesn't matter when the grass touches. Thank you. 
Oh, that's an interesting one. The heal around the cocoon. Building up. Can we get in range, everybody? Building up data. I knew we could do it. I like the controls better. I don't know if that's going to help much, but I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Rico boy, for gifting two subs to the people. This guy, I'm going to get absolutely obliterated. I don't think understanding how to control my harvester slightly better is going to make up for... The uh, deficits here. Once again, not quite nailing it. If you do it perfectly, you can get essentially all of the uh, creeps in one wave. Production is now idle. 
Hmm, it's a scouting worker. Unit production. Production is now. Where's my harvester? I swear I built a harvester. buildings multiple factories Can they just outrange it? Oh. That's not ideal. Why is the attack move so bad? Building upgraded. Oh, 
Feels like I can't damage anything. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Well, this has gone very downhill. I probably would be better served by just leaving. It's I uh, uh, I'm not getting anything done here. The I don't think I've killed a unit in like three minutes. That's enough for tonight. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, a bit of a self-selecting group out there. Uh, but yeah, a lot of options. Just can't use them. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the zero space on the YouTubes. Um, and, uh, you can refresh momentarily for the next stream on YouTube, Twitch, don't go anywhere, uh, or else, but thank you for watching, like and subscribe, uh, good luck, have fun, you can check out playzerospace.com, I believe it is, um, yeah, uh, yes, okay, I got it. New subscriber detected. You got 